Hey everyone, it's me Krista, aka Krista Pasala, here with another tutorial. Um, what we're doing today is a zombie look. Make sure you start off with a clean face. And what we are using today are all these Halloween cream makeup foundations. Now, you can get these at Walmart, HEB, Walgreens. It doesn't matter. I'm going to be using white. <clears throat> a nude color, brown, red, black. I don't really think I use the gray. So we're going to get the white, and everybody think it comes out really opaque, but it does not. It comes out really, really sheer. You're just seeing it me put it on really, really thick. Now, this is how it actually looks once you move it around. It looks just like a lotion, like really, really thin. So you're going to add in a couple layers. What I'm just doing is I'm making my face kind of like a transparent white. We're not really trying to cover it completely and around the eyes we are going to highlight it so around the cheekbones around like the brow bones around like on your jawline and the, those are going to be brighter white so on your cheeks go ahead and put some white just dab it on so it can actually stay thick instead of it just turning sheer Now with your foundation stick, or you can use the Elmer's glue stick, or if you cannot find that, then you can also use wax, Halloween wax, scar wax, and just cover your eyebrows so that when you add the latex, it does not affect it, or just to pat them down, because I didn't use latex, um, I'm just patting them down so that I can put the white right on top of it. It's just supposed to give it the effect that you do not have any um, eyebrows. So you're going to put white around it. Make sure that it's brighter. And everywhere you're highlighting, is that's supposed to like stick out. So we're doing now you're gonna get any white powder and I would say you can use translucent powder you can but it's better if you have white powder to set it you know set white with white so I'm describing an eyeshadow um, it doesn't matter what kind you use and you go ahead and just set all your white now this right here is a bronzer from e.l.f. It's very sheer bronzer, but you know, you can use any bronzer you want. And I'm just applying that on top after I already had set the white. And it's just going to give me like that kind of dirtyish look. You don't have to do that, but it's, that's what I did. And this is a light and medium brown and a dark brown. Now you always want to start off with lighter um, lighter browns and stuff like that when you're gonna do your low lighting and stuff and your shading because if there's something you do not like you can always go back and fix it or add a little bit of white to fix that um, after you like all your placements of everything then you can turn around and add that medium and add that darkness to it so just like I show you in my other zombie tutorial where it's more in depth um, that's what I do. I do everything really, really light, and then I add darker and darker and darker and darker and darker. So I, I went underneath my cheekbones, I went on the temples, and now I'm shading in the eyes. Now add some brown to the mouth on the laugh lines. And I'm just using a regular brush. It's a dill side brush when, I mean, there's no specific brush that you have to use. Now when doing 
the brows, you are going to make them. You're going to do a curve and then go with your brow bone. Make sure that they're close together when you draw them because it's supposed to give you the effect of an angry look. If you draw them too far apart, the two little C's, then it does not look like it no more. So not too close together because it doesn't. you don't want to have a unibrow type thing. But not too far apart because you want them to look angry. So you want to arch them in towards the nose. Draw underneath the eyes and then fade it away with your finger. It's supposed to give you like a baggy eye look. Now right here, I am just, like I said, we're putting only the, the first shade of it. Um, now I'm going in and putting the darker shades. Now the nose part, this part you're going to end up seeing with blood and with um, the black. Now here you're going to put in your little fine details. I'm using an angled brush and I'm going in not yet with the black, but this is the dark brown. So I went from medium to now to dark, or from light to medium now. And then... Um, you're going to do your, all your little fine lines. So you're going to define everything that you just did. You're going to add your little wrinkles and you're going to add everything like that. And then you're going to go back over it. Now this is a zombie that I didn't finish. Um, well, I finished it, but it did not record everything. I don't know why the camera just stopped on me. But y'all asked me to just put it up anyways. And plus I was almost halfway done. The only part that it did not record is when I just made the lines really dark. So at the end, after I do all this medium detailed work, I just go back and make the lines with the black. And then I add the blood. That's it. That's the only part that it took out. So you're doing, you do all your shade with the light. And then you add your little definition with the medium. And then with the black, you are not going to shade or anything. You are just going to outline. That's it. That's all you do with the black. So there's no blending. There's no nothing. You're just adding the lines. And then you can add the red. So I added the red to the eyes and then a little bit of black. So wherever you have, see all these lines that I'm making right here? That's going to be with the black. But you're not going to fill in everywhere that I just added the shading to. Just the lines. And then you add your red wherever you want it. Make sure to give yourself like a little wrinkled look. Make sure to add extra lines where you, you know, where you feel that it should be added in between the nose. Um, on the lips, you're going to just mess it up. So my other zombie, the one I did on Michael and my friend, I used latex and this one is just totally all makeup and with really, really cheap um, Halloween cream. So there you go. So we're doing the little final touches. I'm adding a little detail to the mouth. Now we're going to add the black. We're going to add the red. Add a little blood if you like. And then we're done. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, sorry that it took off a little piece. Love you guys. See you in the next video.